And welcome, welcome to the first YouTube video of Jake the Developer. So, um, I hope nobody's a re and everybody can, you know, we can't use that word. Um, so, we'll bleep that out. So, what's up everybody? Um, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a 3D animation within Spline to then export with code to Framer. And don't worry, you don't need it. You don't need to know how to code. It's all done for you. So, you can see here that... You know, we kind of have this food delivery system and there's just a bit of filler text and maybe, you know, like a, a subscription plan. Uh, look, we're not going to go into that, but we are going to go into how we can get this animation. And yeah, so that's what we're going to be do. Um, listen, like, comment and subscribe so we can continue to do this. And I want to bring content to you, yeah, I don't know, two, three times a week, hopefully. Um, but you know, you, you got to like, you got to comment and you got to subscribe. Hopefully, you know, just support the channel. If you see this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, um, say something offensive in the comments and yeah, even if you dislike it and then give hate, I don't, I, like, I don't care. Just interact with the video somehow. <laughs> I don't care what you do. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight fucking into it. And I don't know what else to say. Yeah, that's all. Um, uh, maybe, um. Yeah, let's not say that. All right, let's get into it. And here we go. So here we can see um, we've got the phones. So this is made in Spline and it is like just a 3D image. Well, it's a 3D model and it has um, a food app on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually import that into Framer. And this is what it looks like. So here we are. We're on a Framer, on a Framer canvas and we're just going to add a landing page. So let that load. And after we do, we're going to scroll down and we're going to pick uh, an image frame. So we'll add a section and then we're going to pick this one right here. This works better. Just having the image on the right. So what we'll do is we're going to scroll down and we are going to find the code snippet. Here we go. So we're going to click embed. So we're going to click that and it's going to add it outside the frame so we're going to swipe across zoom out and you know we can see we got the desktop tablet mobile and we're just going to drag it in okay it's important that we go fill and fill so that expands through the whole whole um picture screen so we're going to need the url so we'll come back to spline we're going to go export and we're going to go to the display settings and we're just going to tick these two right here. So when we tick them, you know, it just kind of like makes everything easier and, you know, like, so people can't mess around with the with the graphic. So after we do that, we press update viewer and then we're going to copy the link. Well, it's actually not a link, it's actually code. So instead of URL, we're going to press HTML and then we're going to paste it in this little box here. We're going to paste it. Is that working? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. But the problem with that is there's a shadow and there's actually um, like the background of the frame. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to get rid of both of them. Okay. So first we're going to get rid of the shadow because f like those lines that you see in the background, that's actually from Framer. So here what we need to do is we need to change the camera. And then we go down and then we untick this box. So that actually makes everything run a lot smoother because it hasn't got directional lights. It hasn't got all these different textures. So now you can see like everything runs a lot smoother in, um, in the spline editor. So we're going to click export. We're going to click update viewer. And then we're going to copy the code again. So once we do that, we're going to come back to Framer. And then we're going to, then we're going to delete everything in there. And we're going to paste it. And we've just pasted it twice. So we've got to delete everything again. And there, here we go. Bang. And wait for that to load. And then there we go. So the shadows are gone now and that runs a lot smoother. But because it's a transparent background and the opacity is, sent, uh, is set to zero, you know, we're still going to see those lines. Okay. 
So we're going to get rid of that now. So in order to do that, and you can see that it kind of cuts the frame off, but that's fine. I mean, you just zoom that out. So we're going to have to come back to Framer and go back. Here we go. And we're going to shrink down. Well, first you have to actually click that, that picture frame and then you just take away the fill. So it will set to image and then you just press X and take away the fill. And now when we can see is we can see a full white background, you know, perfect white space. And then, yeah. And there we have it. There we have it. So that is how we create this beautiful animation. And, uh, you know, like, and how long did that take? That took five minutes. If you follow along word for word, right? And you click the links in my bio and you take advantage of the resources that I give you, your stupid ass, I'm not calling you stupid, I'm just saying that for the sake of the video, maybe get a few more clicks. Um, you'll be able to do it. You'll be able to do it. And yeah, um, and also contact me if you need any designs, if you need me to build your website, I'm always available for freelance work. So guys, thank you so much. Have a good night. Don't jerk off. Um, what else can I say? Cancel your subscriptions to OnlyFans. Um, and yeah, uh, there's a lot more to say, but we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it a little, we'll, we'll keep it, um, keep it down for the first episode and thank you everybody ciao Here,